He ain't me, but promise if we add a member. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Iced out in Iceland in the blue lagoon, dead of the winter. Stop listening till you lose a family. Come fuck with a winner. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Garrett, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial, and this is gonna be the second episode of my Twitch and YouTube live stream packages. And this um, episode is gonna be basically on uh, the webcam overlay kind of segment of the live streaming. And if you guys haven't already checked out my regular overlay, it's gonna be right here on the picture you can see in the middle. That's a uh, Upload it has 75 likes as I said before every 75 likes I'm gonna be releasing the next episode onto this and which is gonna be the panels and then so on and so forth until we have a full complete twitch package and also YouTube live stream so basically if you guys can't afford or can't have any time to do this and you can't afford it these are gonna be available on my cell phone. there's gonna be a link in the description and all the funds that I make through cell fire going straight towards my website if you guys haven't heard already I'm making a super insane website for you guys and it's gonna be a better experience you know a better store better packs you know just a better overall feeling when you log on and everything like that so all those kind of funds I make on cell fire go straight towards the website itself so without further ado, you know, I'm not going to talk about anything else and we're going to get right into the tutorial. So what you're going to need is either, you know, just a simple pack or, you know, just kind of Photoshop smarts and you don't need all the packs I'm going to be using. I'm only using one and I'm going to be using my logo. You don't necessarily do not need any of that. It's just kind of something to help out and make the uh, process a little bit faster. So what we're going to be making is a very kind of easy and very um attractive webcam overlay with the recent follower and recent donation tab and you know if you guys are streaming you guys can see people that use this and you know text kind of scrolls through that's all done in obs and xsplit and if you guys want a tutorial separate on that just let me know i can easily do one so i'm not going to talk anymore i'm just going to get right into it and if you guys haven't watched my overlay tutorial i'm just going to minimize this and just bring the webcam overlay up in the top right hand corner just for me to you know kind of go back and forth on and what you want to do is I'm starting off on a kind of a document of 1920 by 1080 with a kind of a blurred halo picture. It's just something for me to work on and I'm just going to take my whole background that's the whole black background or white background whatever you're using and just hit control J on it and this is going to give me just a whole perfect black background of the whole entire thing and I'm going to put it above everything and next thing I'm going to do is hit control T and grab the right the top right hand corner and hit shift and alt and just drag inwards because what this is going to do it's going to help size it and if you guys are doing this um i usually like working on a bigger surface than i do sometimes and what you want to do now is just kind of zoom in and it's going to help you know kind of understand what you're doing and you want to go to your fill and put that just straight to zero percent and it might just go away like it should but what we're going to do is go to blending options and go to stroke and you want to put a stroke on it you know about 13 size or 15. um i technically work with 13 a lot but 15 can work 14 can work just keep it in kind of a small size don't make the border super big because it's just going to be a little attractive thing to help kind of bring out um make accents and just something for to be different so now that you're done with this all you want to do is make a new layer and then grab these two and just merge them and then you can label this like webcam border and we're going to be labeling everything just because it's easier to go back and forth from. So now that you have this done, what you want to do now is either open up one of your packs or just kind of watch what kind of stocks I'm using. And honestly, as I said before, you necessarily don't need any packs to do this. So I'm just using kind of this blue stock right here. And what I do is I drag it in and I just put it right there, hold alt and then make a clipping mask and putting it straight on there. If you hold alt, there's kind of an arrow that points down with a square onto it. Just basically use that and then go to blur, Gaussian blur, and just put the blur up to like 8.2. And if you guys want a better example of what this looks like without the webcam around it, it's just really just a blurred blue background. You can find this in any pack really. It's nothing too insane, you know, you don't need this pack, but if you guys want to purchase it, it'll be in the description as well. This is made by Obey Max and yeah. So now that you have this done, what you want to do next is just go back into more packs and stuff. Look for backing stocks and everything like that. I'm going to be using kind of a geometric shape one like this. It kind of follows the whole entire style I'm doing. Just drag it in, put it below those blue kind of colors you're using or whatever color you're using, and then put it above. And you're going to get this kind of cool kind of pattern in the background, and then that's going to kind of create a cool effect. So now you want to kind of bring out some contrast into the stuff. So in this case, I'm making it for myself. So I have this cool logo, which, you know, it really helps when I'm making stuff like this. So what you want to do is just take it and drag it in. And for some reason, whenever I record my screen, it always doesn't work. And you want to put this below those geometric shapes and then go to normal and then put it to soft light. 
and then you can just drag it around. For this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control T and I'm gonna bring it all the way down and just kind of make it a little bit smaller to help bring out more shapes and stuff like that. And obviously it's just kind of trial and error what you want it to look like and stuff like that. So, something like this would pretty much work perfectly fine. And then the next thing you wanna do, just to kind of create you know, an area of where you're working, make a new layer behind everything, grab a uh, rectangle shape, make it black, and just kind of make a black rectangle behind this border. Make a new layer, hold Alt and make a clipping mask, and then grab a white brush. Put the size up to like 400. Make sure it's white and just click anywhere you'd like. You know, you can click like right here and just bring the opacity down. And basically this is just for you to kind of know how you're working and stuff like that. So now that you have this, really what else is there to do? And honestly, if you wanna work with this kind of border, what you can do now is make a new layer above your logo but behind those geometric shapes and you can grab just a darker blue than your rest of your stuff and grab a brush on like a size, like probably like 200 and just kind of click in the corners or click in like the bottom parts like this. And it's just gonna create you no know, lighting effect just to help bring out some stuff nothing too complicated as I said before and then now you want to start working with these kind of border panels or you're gonna start working with the uh, the backdrops where you want to call them so the easy way to do this stuff is you can leave these the same you don't have to label these um, it's just easier to label some stuff to get used to it and you want to make a black kind of box and you want to make it the same um, width as your as your border and it doesn't really matter if it's the same height, but the same width is going to be a tremendous factor when you're doing this stuff. And of course, I have Photoshop CC, so I'm getting these kind of really helpful purple guidelines and stuff like that. And you can make it any really height, but don't make it too big because it's going to look a little bit awkward when you're sizing it. So put this back to normal. All right, and now that you have this, you're gonna start doing the same exact thing you did for your border, but we're gonna do a little cheat right here. You're gonna take all of these and just hit Control J, and then bring down below it, and then you're just gonna put a clipping mask on the logo with the blue thing, and just start dragging everything under it, and then you wanna put it all in the same kind of order as the other stuff. And for this case, we're gonna take this blue, and we're gonna just put it somewhere else just to kind of create the effect somewhere. And you can either do one of two things. You can keep this kind of effect from the logo going through the whole entire thing, or you can just drag the logo back down somewhere. And let's say we're gonna make the claw kind of the main piece. So we're just gonna bring this down and create a cool effect like this. Doesn't really matter. And now the next thing you wanna do is just kind of click somewhere inside of these clipping masks, usually above the logo and below the geometric shapes. Grab a white color as always, and just make a kind of easy looking bar and then put it on soft light which is just kind of creates a little effect. You know, it's nothing too insane, but it just helps bring out just something different. Now it's going to be the text and the text is kind of the main part on this. And if I zoom out and I look at the other example that we made, um, it's really easy to kind of mess up this text. You need to have it very simplistic and I'm actually going to shrink this a little bit and bring that bar back up. And it's really kind of hard to make this perfect. And all I want to do is just type in recent follower. And if you guys are partnered and you guys are making this, obviously you can do recent subscriber or recent um, subscription or something like that. But I use it just to keep it basic with just recent follower. So now what you can do is just size your font. Don't make it too big, don't make it too small. And it's really hard to kind of make it look like it's supposed to be there. Like right here, maybe that's just a little bit too big. So you can shrink it. You can move it around a little bit. Kind of place it around mess around with it you know if the more you zoom in the easier it is to go down little kind of segments and if you think this is just too much you can always just take this little bar and you can shrink it a little bit and just bring that more uh that white bar up this a little bit and then you can center this bring it to the side and we can just leave it there for this tutorial. We're not gonna go too crazy with it. And after you're done with this, next thing you wanna do is take a rectangle, make sure the color is black, and if just pretty much just drag until it's the same height as the text, and then just hit Control T and drag this to the corner, and then drag to the left, and then just drag this to the, the right. 
so it leaves a little opening. And then you can zoom out, and then you can, you can make it just a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. You know, it doesn't really have to be necessarily the same height, it just helps look a little bit nicer. Like this. Maybe this looks good. You can center it, you can not center it, it doesn't really necessarily matter. And after you're done with this, what you can do now is take the opacity and just put it a little bit kind of lower than the other stuff. So maybe like a 99, which brings like a little bit of a, a transparency to it. And then the easy way to do this, guys, if you guys want to make the same thing, basically you're just going to take the whole entire panel that you made, hit Control G on it. So if you just hide it, it'll all go away. Hit Control J, which is going to duplicate it, and then just drag it back down. And then... You can just pretty much highlight the text and then you can change it to recent donation so this is basically the easy way to do it and now that you have this done you can start doing other things i'm just going to hide this webcam overlay so we can start doing some other kind of cool things and a easy effect that everyone can do is basically take a logo take your logo it doesn't have to be a mascot logo you know people always think that if i'm using one they have to have one and that's not not necessarily the truth and you can just make it any size you want it, doesn't, it can be a 2D logo, it can be a 3D logo, it can be a render, it can be anything. And just kind of make it not super big because your head is going to be on this webcam overlay or your client's head. And just kind of drag down and try to find the center. Um, if you're using Photoshop CC, obviously I have these little bars that help me cheat my way through it. And just kind of match the color the best you can. If you guys are using a white logo, I would just keep it white. It just looks a lot better make a new look or make a new layer excuse me and then grab the blue color from the logo or grab the blue color from the whole banner if you have blue accents or a color accent on your logo this is something you want to do if not just keep it white and just kind of highlight the border don't highlight the whole thing just highlight the border go to soft light filter blur gaussian blur and then lower the opacity like 30. all right that's just something cool to do it just helps bring out some color and this helps bring out something different and now the next thing you guys want to do is just make a little live panel right here, a little live button. How to make these, basically just take your text, type in live, make it white. Oops, I just, I just done screwed this up. Highlight again, just make it white. And then you want to grab the ellipse tool, just literally make it any color red, any size. and make it a little bit tinier than it usually is put in the top right hand corner zoom out and you have yourself a live button you guys can shrink this if you guys really want to like that and right here you have your webcam overlay so now that you guys want to pretty much save it that you're done with it um what you can do is you can just group the whole entire thing i'm gonna put this above everything you can just take it and group the whole entire thing. Make sure if you hide it that everything that's in your group that you want to save is hidden. And then you want to go to your kind of little backdrop that you made, this little um, black square. Just take it away and then hide the backgrounds. And then you're going to get this kind of transparent um, checkerboard behind all the logos. And you want to save this as a PNG. And then when you import it into like OBS and stuff like that, you're going to get a... Uh, just a whole webcam by itself put it in like the corner like i do with this one let me just put this downwards and when you put it in the corner just kind of size it the best you can take in your webcam put it in here size the webcam to the border and as i said before the thicker the border is you know it's easier to kind of size your webcam to it but when you were doing this just please zoom in with your webcam make sure that the uh, borders don't stick out there's you no know, there's no background playing in behind the uh, with the webcam make sure it's all sized perfectly so this is going to be it for the tutorial as i said before guys if you did enjoy this leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments below and if you guys want to purchase this the webcam itself will be a dollar on my cell phone if you guys are kind of twitch fiends and you guys see someone using my logo taking it as theirs let me know in my comments below because i'm gonna just bring some rain on that person we're all gonna hop in that stream and roast them because you know i did pay for this this is my logo this is my brand so yeah so this is going to be it for the tutorial. As I said before, all funds made by the Selfie is going straight to my um, straight to my PayPal and straight to my website. And I only make like 66 cents after stupid transaction fees and taxes, you know, when you guys pay for this. So I'm not making an extreme amount, but, you know, 
let's say 50 of you guys kind of pay for this, I'm going to get like 40 bucks from it. So, you know, it does add up and $40 towards, you know, a $400 website, it helps extremely. So thank you guys so much for this and thank you guys so much for the tutorial and not even thank you guys for the tutorial. Thank me for the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, but uh, I really have nothing else to say. If you guys like this episode, just let me know in the comments and leave a like. Every 75 likes, I'll be releasing the next episode on this Twitch and YouTube live stream graphics. Thank you guys so much for 9,400 subscribers, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.